Dr. Caitlin, this is something that's very close to my heart. Babies born dependent on drugs. I know it from four years ago when we dealt with it when we adopted that to Joe, but what's changed in that time? Has hospital protocol changed or anything? Yeah, so I mean, really since the pandemic, um, Kentucky has seen a pretty big uptick in especially opiate use yeah. and dependence, um, and, and that affects moms who are pregnant too. And so that, that tends to be the drug that does cause the most issue just because of you know how, how long it stays in the system, um, how dependent these mothers become on it. You know, they can go and get help at these methadone clinics and get prescription medications to kind of help ease that withdrawal type symptoms that mm -hmm. will occur when the baby is born, but it still can occur with those medications, right? So, um, you know, typically protocol for most hospitals is going to be if you know that a mother has been using or has been on prescription medication, is to keep the baby and watch them for at least five to seven days. Now with wow, insurance and all of that sort of thing, yeah. sometimes you know, they're like, oh, the baby seems fine, it's been two days, they don't seem to have any symptoms, or maybe mom's drug screen when she came in was, you know, negative or whatever mm -hmm. reason, and then the baby will get discharged early, and you can still have those symptoms develop anywhere from, you know, five to seven days of life, and that can be really intense and really severe for these babies as they start to withdraw. So if you do have a baby that is born and it is dependent, mm -hmm. how long does it take you to wean them off of that till they're completely, yeah. you know, till, till it's out and of their it, system? It really just depends on the baby, how heavily mom was using. I mean, it can, it, it can be a couple months before they're completely clear. And then we're still not seeing the effects long term for these babies, right. Right? Mm -hmm. right? They're starting to get into kindergarten now and, you know, we're seeing some signs of increased time in kindergarten. Yeah. Yep. So, um, it's a topic I could talk about all day, but, yeah, but yeah. I'm glad to see, I'm sad to see that it's still happening. I didn't yeah. know how bad it was, so that's sad, but it's also good that hospitals are getting more protocol in place. Yeah. All right, thanks so much, Dr. Yeah, Caitlin. Absolutely. We'll be right back after this break.